Hey, 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 how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Yeah, hey, 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 hey. So, hello, 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 good evening, or morning, or afternoon, or whatever it is, wherever you are on the planet. I was having this, cause yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been talking about this recently, and ah, maybe I, ah. <laughs> anyway, you know how when you you go to um, you go to do something a bit more than what you're used to doing, and you kind of get slightly petrified, <laughs> slightly petrified by what it is that you're doing. I was having one of those moments earlier today, where I just felt really petrified ultimately about some of the stuff that I that I feel called to. And uh, you know, we're all called to make a difference in a bigger, bolder way. And I felt as if I've been called to an even bigger way and to be even more out there <laughs> than I've been to date and be even more um, clear about what I believe about some of the stuff that I know will help people move forward, all of that stuff. And so I was kind of having a very petrified moment or hour or maybe two <laughs> ultimately. And I kind of was like, oh Lord, I can't, I can't, you know how, when you get scared sometimes, especially if you, you indulge it, which I was kind of indulging it a little bit. If you indulge it, you will find that you're not able to do anything. You'll find that you're delaying on doing uh, the things that you know to do. And I was delaying a little bit because I felt like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Basically, like that girl from Annie. Oh my gosh, oh my goodness. But anyway, <laughs> and so I was having one of those moments. And and, the, and I, I decided to take it to Papa and just kind of get my journal out and get, actually, I seem to reading the Bible a bit. And <laughs> just to kind of calm myself down, to kind of bring me back to center. And as we were talking back and forth, one of the things that he said to me was, you are up to it. You are up to it. And in that moment, I knew it was an affirmation for all of us as a community, that whatever it is that you, env you envision, whatever it is that you are called to do, whatever it is that you know gives your life that little bit more meaning than just going through the motions every single day, you are up to it. Though yes, when you are making that transition, to doing more of the thing that you are called to do, it will feel scary. It will feel, oh my gosh, shouldn't I just stay with the comfortable stuff? Uh, shouldn't I just do this thing over here that is just more reasonable? <laughs> and you will feel petrified at times. And that may cause you to, to not make clear decisions about what you want to do to move forward. But you know what? You need to remember this. You are up to it. There is no vision no dream inside of you that is beyond your ability to create there is nothing beyond your ability to create you know what one of the things that i also did this 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 today was actually type out this whole episode to my coach <laughs> about how i was feeling and how this and that and the other and blah 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 but this is the thing one of the things that came up for me and yeah you know what i won't lie there are times that i get really frustrated with people because I know, and this is why I get really frustrated with people, and I probably get frustrated with myself a bit here as well. I know, without a shadow of a doubt, that you are absolutely capable of whatever it is that you decide that you want to create. Absolutely capable of it. But I also know that for the most part, most people will not do what it takes. And that irritates the heck out of me. <laughs> It really does, and I see it in myself at times. But you know what? I, I, I don't. When as soon as I see that I'm pulling back, like this afternoon, I saw that I was indulging too much fear, and I'm just like, you know what? Enough. <laughs> Enough. What is it that I need to do to move myself forward? Okay. And so yes, I got in touch with Papa. You know, just kind of like I mean, I'm never out of touch with him, but I was like, okay, finally, more like a surrender. Lord, I feel. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Can you help? <laughs> it's like, I thought you'd never ask, <laughs> basically. And, and it's like, you are up for it. And that for me really, really switched something inside of me because it was like, okay, I am up to it. I am up to it. And I want you to hear those words as well. You are up to it. There is nothing, I said this already, but I'm saying it again. There is nothing you dream of that you are not up to creating. And in fact, we're going to sing this affirmation and I want you to take it with you. I am up 
to it. See, now if I was doing that, this at home, we'd have the guitar. I am up to it. I am up to it. I will stay on the narrow path. Cause I am up to it. Did you hear that? <laughs> I am up to it. I will stay on the narrow path because I am up to it. If you're new to this world, hey, say hello actually. Whether you're new or old, I want to know who's listening in. Hi Zahara, how you doing? <laughs> Lovely to have you on here as I sit in my car and just dump, uh, not dumped, graciously drove my, one of my princesses off to, to rainbows. <laughs> and so now I'm just getting back into the house which will help me concentrate a little bit better. But we'll stay in the car, I think, because the whole movement, although actually it might reconnect. Good morning to you too. It might reconnect to Wi-Fi, in which case it might kick me off for a second. But hopefully only a second before it realizes that it needs to get me back on. I'm just going to close the door and stay here for a bit. But this is it, guys. You are up to the dream, the vision inside of you. Please don't join in with the reasonables that don't actually try to live it out. You know that book you keep thinking about writing? Why don't you just write a few words today? Just write a few words or, you know, map out the chapters that you keep, you know, I'm in an hour about and map them out. I know that actually the idea of putting pen to paper might scare the living daylights out of you. But keep your vision on what is it that I'm trying to create here? Who could be impacted by this work that I do right now? Right now, um, Zahara, I'm at my house. Okay, I've just come back home. I went to drop off a daughter, but now I'm back. But anyway, um, keep your eyes on the vision. Keep your eyes on the vision or else you end up living to what is around you right now. And what is around you right now, you don't want. So if you keep responding only to what is around you right now because you're afraid of the next step or the next level for you, as if you are not partnering with the, the creator of the universe, seriously. You are, you know, universe is on your side. Universe is on your side. Spirit is on your side. You have access to intuition. You are not alone in this. You are up to this. You are up to the big vision you have inside of you. You are up to it. I really want you to take that on board. And you know, listen again. I am up to it. And again, woo. I am up to it. I am up to it I will stay on the narrow path cause I am up to it now the narrow path to me it is you know there's a broad path that most people are on and it's e it's supposedly easy most people are kind of walking dead walking along it and then there is the narrow path the narrow path that not many find their way onto and a lot of people find their way onto it and then jump right back off it because they get scared of it but you know what? Don't get scared of it. You are on the narrow path to your destiny and you are up to it. Please take this on board. You are up to it. You are always a heck of a lot more powerful than you realize. I don't say this stuff lightly. You are imbued with strength and power. And if you would tap into that and start co-creating with spirit within you, there is nothing that you cannot create. So that vision you have is actually small potatoes if you really just trusted. Trusted spirit but also trusted yourself, trusted that you are powerful. Oh, sometimes these words, they seem so, because you say them so frequently, oh, you're powerful, you're this and that, but it's truth, okay? It is truth. There is a vision you want to create. There is, maybe there's even a relationship you want to create. Maybe there's a body you want to create. Whatever it is that you're not quite there yet. And for whatever reason, whenever you consider taking steps forward, you hear that pr inner prompting, that intuitive, those intuitive nudges telling you, do this, do the other. And then there's fear. And I get it. Yes, okay, fear isn't going anywhere. You're going to feel afraid. But do you have to continue to react to fear? No, you don't. No, you don't. You can open your eyes or you can close your eyes even. Write down in your journal again, what is the vision? What is it that I am creating? 
and then keep taking steps towards it. You can repartner with spirit. If there's any part of you that has suddenly thought that it's just you on your own trying to work this stuff out, stop it. You're not on your own to work it out, okay? Yes, you are incredibly powerful. Yeah, you can, you know, struggle along on your own if you want to. But if you want the accelerated version, you may as well work with the universe. You may as well work with spirit. Why work on your own, basically? So, yes, you have access to incredible power because you're aware of it. You're a spiritual person. You know that there is more to you than meets the eye. You know that. So you can tap into that power. You don't have to care so much what other people think of you because that's another reason why sometimes we get afraid of doing something a bit bigger than what we're used to. It's because we're worried about what friends would say. We're worried that, oh my gosh, this thing that I'm trying to do is so outside of the box. And you know what? I have, I have that fear. I think I had a bit of it today. It was like, oh my gosh, the thing that I feel like I need to do feels really out of the box. It feels way out there and it feels really scary. And I might have people thinking that I'm kind of crazy. I might have people thinking I'm some kind of who knows what. But you know what? None of them are going to have to answer to my life or to your life. Most of them are far too concerned with their own lives to worry about what I'm up to. <laughs> and the same goes for you. Most of the people that you're worried about are far too concerned with their own life to care what you're up to. And when it comes down to it, it is your life. I still remember actually when I made the, um, when I converted from being Catholic to just being plain old Christian. And I, I held on to being Catholic for so long because I was so scared of what my parents would say. I was about 19 or something at this point. And I was so scared of what they would say. And it, 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 finally I woke up one day and realized, guess what? On that judgment day, I'm not sure I completely believe in that anymore, but, <laughs> but on that day, <laughs> I am the only one that would actually answer for my life. I'm the only one that's going to look back on my deathbed as to, did I do all that I was here to do? So it doesn't actually matter what my parents think. It really doesn't. Because I am the only one that answers for my life. I suppose I died before. I suppose I died tomorrow. I suppose I died in the next minute. And then I would say, oh, well, you know, the reason why I didn't follow my, my intuitive nudges was because I was scared of what my parents would say, really? I was an adult, okay? So it didn't really matter anymore what my parents had to say about it. And uh, sometimes we still act as if we're children when we are controlled by what, how we think we will come across if we follow through on the things inside of our heart to do. Don't be that person. Be someone who is spirit-driven for real. And when you feel the prompting of spirit within, you move. You act, you take action. Yes, we're afraid, but we know we're not alone. We are supported. We're not alone in this. Okay? So you keep your eyes on the vision. You forget about what people are thinking about you. You call, you, you, you combine your forces with spirit within and you start taking action. Even if it's little action, sometimes even the act of doing something, a little something, it makes a huge difference because it shakes you out of the fear. It shakes you out of the fear. Because that's what happened to me as well. I was like sitting there thinking, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And then it was like, okay, just do something, anything, any little thing. So then I, yeah, you know, I reconnected with spirit, like, oh, please help me. And I spoke to my coach, oh, please help me. And, <laughs> and I did a little bit of work and then it, it shakes you out. It's like, okay, I'm remembering who I am now. I'm remembering who I am now. I'm remembering who I am now. I am not fearful. Or I, I can be fearful, but I refuse to let fear rule me. What is it that I'm here to do? I refuse to give myself the excuse of, oh my gosh, I'm so overwhelmed, I don't know what to do. No, there's always a next step. You don't need to know all the steps, but there is always one little step you can take to move forward. And sometimes just in the, the process of taking that one little step will clear the fog a little bit so that you're able to keep moving forward. Let's sing this affirmation again. I am up to it you have to click your fingers okay i am up to a man it i am up to it i will stay on the narrow path cuz i am up to it i will stay on the narrow path 
Cause I am up to it. And we have to sing it again. I am up to it. I want you to really, 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 really feel it, okay? I want you to, even if you're singing it under your breath because there's people around you or whatever, you know what? Just really feel these words. I am up to it. I am up to it. I am up to it, Chavelle. You're feeling it, man. Feeling you too. Powerful. Yeah, absolutely. Again. I am up to it. You gotta click, you gotta click, man. I am up to it. I am up to it. I will stay on the narrow path. Cause I am up to it. I will stay on the narrow path. Cause I am up to it. Absolutely, Chavel. You're feeling it, loving it, loving it. I'm hoping you're singing it over there. But guys, let these words really speak to your heart. I am up to it. I am up to it. Okay? Sometimes we, we've lived lives, especially if you're a religious person, at times there's a, a weakness that sometimes comes with that. And I, I don't say that to diminish any religion or anything like that, but sometimes there's a feeling that, you know, that you're weak, that you're somehow not worthy. And I break that off you, okay? Because you are up to it. You are powerful. I'm glad you love it, Chavel. <laughs> you are powerful, okay? You were created that way. You weren't created weak. Sometimes you forget, though. You forget in the hustle bustle of everyday life and the feeling that you need to just wait for some kind of superpower to come and rescue you. And you don't, you don't do it consciously. I get that. But now you know. Now you know. Give it your 100% knowing that you are fully supported by, by God, by spirit, by higher power, whatever you choose to call it, okay? You are loved and fully supported. But you've got to show willing, okay? Yes, the fear will come. Absolutely, the fear will come. But you don't have to act based on the fear. Good morning, Amanda. How are you doing? Much love to you too. <laughs> you don't have to act based on the fear. Amen! Glory! Loving it! <laughs> you don't have to act based on the fear, okay? You can go up to this door and push it and go to that door and push it and keep pushing until you find your narrow path and you stay on it, okay? The temptation is to, oh my gosh, it's so scary. Let me just go back to where I was. No, you stay on it knowing that you are up to it. You keep your eyes on the vision. Whose lives could you change if you stay on the narrow path? Your life will be changed if you stay on the narrow path. That's for sure. Because the future that is planned for you is, is good. It is good. But you have to show willing. You have to show willing. You have to take some steps. You have to see the opportunities that are presented to you. I'm glad, you know, I'm, glad I'm speaking to you, honey. Tag somebody in, all of y'all. <laughs> Tag somebody in. Who needs to hear this? Come on, guys. Bless you too, my honey. <laughs> Bless you too. I just, you know, I just know that for some people on this line, God is calling you deeper. This isn't a religious thing or it doesn't matter what religion you belong to right here. You know it. Even as I say those words to you, there is a resonance inside of you that says, oh my gosh, I know that in some ways I've been ignoring the call on my life because it's big and I don't know that I'm up to it. Well, this word is for you. You are up to it. <laughs> I'm glad you're good, Amanda. <laughs> and staying on the narrow path. Whooped! I'm very well, thank you. <laughs> I'm blessed to be able to give them. Okay? But this is it, guys. Take this as a word to you. You are up to it. The narrow path is taking you to your destiny, so sometimes it may feel tight. It may feel like, oh my gosh, am I going to be able to keep walking? Yes, you can. Just keep your eyes on the prize. You are born for abundance. You are born to enjoy this one experience of life you are, we have. There's this feeling sometimes that we're in a, a training ground in some ways. 
we get to have an abundant experience in this life simply because we are loved, simply because we're here. There's no agenda. There's no nothing. There's just this. It, you live into the fullness of your potential. It's absolutely possible for you. You are up to it. That dream you have of the nice life, the nice partnership you build with people, that partner in your life, that body at the right weight that you want it to be at, you doing work that makes you feel, oh yeah, man, <laughs> basically that, that, that dream you have of taking yourself away from all the drama and really choosing an awesome life for you and your family, traveling when you want to, that can be yours, okay? I have such a passion inside of me for spiritual people to step up and wake up and know that, honeys, we, we are, we are blessed to know that there is more than just us. We are blessed to be able to partner with spirit. But you must play your part. You must show willing. You must know to the very heart of you that you are up to it. There's no mistake about the vision you carry. There's no mistake about you. No mistake about you. Amen. No mistake about you. Please hear me. Please hear me. Because again, I know that sometimes there is there there can be a vibe kind of sent out to you guys saying that you're you're less than, but you're not, you're not, you're not. And sometimes we we take on such nonsense. But we're not less than, you are not less than, you are up to it. Okay? Okay, we're gonna sing this one more time. I'm gonna take myself into my house. <laughs> I am up to it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I am up to it. Yeah, I am up to it. I will stay on the narrow path. Cause I am up to it. Okay? Take that affirmation into your day, but don't just sing the affirmation, though sing it a lot. <laughs> also, what is that one little move you can make today to show willing? To show, you know what? I am up to it. And guys, tomorrow we start the self-love personal transformation project because I know for this community particularly, we have been through some crazy, crazy times at times, which have convinced us that we're less than worthy, that we're less than enough, and that we're less than loved. And it is time that we took matters into our own hands and determined without a shadow of a doubt that we are going to completely, I would say, brainwash ourselves into knowing that we are completely loved. That we are completely loved. It's a choice that we make. Love is an active choice. And so I invite you to the Self-Love Personal Transformation Project. It's at rosemarynonynight.com forward slash self-love. I don't invite you lightly. I don't do these programs lightly. And in fact, this program is one of those things that is scaring the living daylights out of me because I feel as if I'm going to have to be even more vulnerable than I would normally be because I too will be going on this journey with you and sharing what Papa is saying to me but also teaching you how to tap in to to for yourself because this isn't about you know listening to Rosemary's words or anything like that no 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 this is about you digging into what is spirit saying to you okay so that you can take that stuff on board and whenever this program finishes in four weeks time you carry on in a deeper deeper more connected relationship than you've ever had before so you're able to step into the next level life for you because you know that if you would partner even more completely with your higher power nothing nothing, nothing can get in your way but you get to choose to listen to these opportunities that i give you and to actually take part, to no longer play small, to no longer procrastinate, but to choose to step into the next level for you, to do this work with me and all I'm asking from you, and I'm not even asking from you, you know, all I'm asking you to invest in yourself is 20 minutes every morning, 20 minutes, get yourself a notebook, I will teach you exactly what to do so that you are able to hear for yourself. What Spirit is saying to you and the places in your heart that have been covered over by darkness, 
because of things that have happened in the past and that are now blocking you from stepping into the next level for you. It is time for the healing work to be done because the future for you is good. But the way you step into that future is by, you know, playing full out. And all of these crazy dark places inside of you stop you from playing full out. So, honey, join me for the Self-Love Personal Transformation Project. Yes, answers. Join me for the Self-Love the self -love Personal Transformation Project. Some of you, even hearing the word self-love, you feel that it's selfish. That needs to be worked on, honey. That needs to be worked on. Because whoever your spiritual leader person is, I promise you this, they love themselves enough to live out the vision on their life. I promise you that. Promise you that. Okay? What is it? Who, who is your person? For me, it's Jesus, uh, for sure. But you know what? Who is your person? I promise you this. They loved themselves. They knew their value. And they showed up. Absolutely, Erica. <laughs> so come join in. Come join in. It's rosemarynonnynight.com forward slash self-love. The link is there somewhere. Basically, stop, stop, stop waiting. Stop waiting. Amen. <laughs> I'm doing good, Abu. I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. <laughs> Are we going to sing this all together? I'm going to imagine... That we're all together in one room and we're all like singing this song okay so you gotta sing with me <laughs> don't care what you're doing you gotta sing with me even if you have to hum it under your breath but i am born for it oh no i am up to it sorry i, I am born for it as well <laughs> i am up to it i will stay on the narrow path i am up to it I am up to it. I am up to it. I will stay on the narrow path. Cause I am up to it. I will stay on the narrow path. Cause I am up to it. Amen. Amen. Okay? Okay, yes, know your value and your worth. Absolutely doodly. <laughs> Until the next time, my honeys, for right now, you need to go join in because right now you got the early bird before we launch um, investment level thing. So go look at it. Read through the page, watch the video, do all of that stuff. Join in. We get it and we sing it. You sing it too, Abu. Okay? <laughs> go join in. It's rosemaryonlynight.com forward slash self-love, guys. I am just sending you love not just my love but i want you to feel love of spirit universe high power whatever you want to call it okay but this is what i know you are loved you are loved and i want you to feel that love right now i want you to know that your life has meaning that there is no mistake about you being here that you are worthy of every good thing so right now wherever you are in the world Feel that you are loved and cared for and you are fully supported. So own your dreams. Let's move. You ready? Nice to meet you too, Abu. Good to meet you, Anne. <laughs> Much love, guys. It's time to fight for and to deliberately design the life you were born to live. And just in case I missed anybody else, no, I didn't. <sighs> because you want to, go for it. Amen, Erica says. Amen. Oh, somebody's angry with me. <laughs> to be expected until the next time my honeys much love much love much love go forth and prosper okay enjoy the rest of your day wherever you are much love